Well, first of all, um, will you tell me why you're here? Well, I'm, I'm here really out of friendship uh, that's developed between Johnny Morris of Bass Pro and his wife, Jeannie, um, who've become friends to my, my wife and myself and my friends. And, and, you know, in the name of this movie where Bass Pro is pretty prominent, um, you know, John has some organizations that are important to him. Uh, it's breast cancer and, you know, his, his ecological stance on things. And, and so there's no better use of a movie uh, than to be able to kind of raise money for charity, and that's why I'm here. Now, um, in Swing Boat, you wear the hat quite a bit, right? Yeah. Is it like every scene, or I mean, because I just saw quite a bit. It's just it's just a part of his it's part of his uniform. He, um, you know, it's pretty beat up. And I, I halfway through, I realized it was becoming really important, and I just finally called John. I said, "You better come down here and um, look at how this is working in a movie." He couldn't quite believe it, you know, and. Uh, it was just really a part of the character. It really wasn't, uh, this wasn't over money, it wasn't over anything. Now, how did you and Johnny Morris become friends? Uh, over time, people knowing that I had a penchant for the outdoors, it, w when they actually got around me, they, you know, finally, inevitably, I had three or four people say to me over time, you know, there's this guy named Johnny Morris. You should, you guys would be friends. And, you know, Johnny does his thing and so do I. But, I, you know, I heard his name three or four times, and so finally I reached out and ended up talking to Jeannie first. And out of that, our friendship began to grow. How long ago was that? I think that was about three years ago, three, four. <clears throat> so, um, if you like, so how, how many times have you gone to a Bass Pro? I mean, is there, is there one near your house? No, I, when I was down in Louisiana making Mr. Brooks and The Guardian, I was in the Shreveport one all the time. And, you know, this is like my perfect, this is like my favorite store, you know. What do you like about it? The fishing aspect, or do you no? I, I just like the ambience of it. It's a uh, it's a place where you can hang and eat. I love the black and white pictures on the wall. I mean, the truth is, Johnny gets it. You know, he gets it about what the outdoors is. He has a love of it. He's a he doesn't abuse it. He protects it. He believes in it. He understands how it can work in our lives. And Bass Pro just is like. There's not a there's not a department that you walk into that you don't feel like you want to get something. Whether you know you walk into the women's department and you want to get something for your wife or your sweetheart, and and suddenly you're getting stuff for your children. It's all camouflage and hell. It's just a good idea, right? right. Well, I like this one because it's so big and you can see you know all the yeah. all the fish and stuff. So yeah. That's my favorite thing. Um, tell us about Swing Boat. How excited are you about this movie, especially since yeah. everyone's going to be talking about the election? Yeah. Netflix. Well, it's a really good movie. It's a, an American comedy, and uh, it, you know, it, it, it has an emotional bottom where you get a lump in your throat, maybe a tear in your eye, and you laugh out loud at it. It takes you through the emotional journey that you really want a movie to take you, you know, so I'm proud of it that way. I think it's a movie that will last. What do you think, um, or I guess, what do you hope people take away from it? Because it is rather timely. I mean, if yeah. you think about what's going on. Well, I always start with the hope people think they get their money's worth. You know, you start with that. You hope that they do take that emotional journey I just described. That's what movies can do. And the biggest thing is I hope they share it once they see it, that they feel good enough about it to go, this is a movie you should see. This is a movie I want to show my son, my daughter, my sweetheart. This is a movie I want to show my granddaughter. And this is a movie you're willing to share 5, 10, 20 years later. Do you think you have anything in common with Bud? I mean, obviously, uh, the love for that. Well, he's a rascal, so am I. Uh, he'd rather fish than do anything, so would I. Um, uh, I'm not a real drinker like he is. Um, Bud's a drinker. <laughs> What about fishing then? Do you like what kind of fishing do you like to do? Well, I'm. If you love fishing, you'll fish anywhere. Uh, but every fisherman though has the thing that he loves the most, and in my instance, it's steelhead and salmon. I like crappie. Have you ever gone crappie fishing? Sure. They're my favorite because they. Think my actual <laughs> new favorite thing to do, if there's anybody out there listening, is uh, a bow fishing at night. That's my. I, I love that. You know, when you're here, you should try to see if someone will take you noodling. Have you ever done that? Where? No, it's not a place. It's a no, thing. I didn't hear you though. Oh, what, if you, while you're here, you should see if someone could take you noodling. No noodling. What is that? It's like noodling, like noodle. It's like when you go hand fishing. Oh, you mean reaching up under the bank? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'd do that in a second. Really? Hell yes. <laughs> 